Welcome to this onboarding session for LS Central in SAS. My name is Adalbjörg and the onboarding lead. With me in the team is Driva, the onboarding body, and Ricardo, the migration specialist. The Evergreen Train, or what we call Cloud or SaaS, is all about continuous improvements, continuous delivery, rapid implementation, and automation. We don't want you to miss the train, but we don't want to just jump on board without any preparation. Therefore, we are having this session to hand over the knowledge and best practices for LS Central in SaaS. Here are links to the material we have for LS Central in SaaS. First, it's the landing page, or this is LS Central in SaaS, which you can access for the past portal, and the implementation guide, which you can access from the online help. The implementation guide is not SaaS specific, but has a section on implementation of uh, LS Central in SaaS. Uh, have you checked out these pages? If you have not, I recommend you doing so. There are a lot of helpful information there. We offer the onboarding body program, which you are already part of, and the cloud accelerator program, which we will talk more about later in the session. Then we have the SaaS training, or the CF900 uh, that LS Academy offers, which is now available on demand on the LS training portal. So where to start? The best place to start is to create a support concept for your customers. First and foremost, it's important to have an outage strategy. That is to know how you report an outage to Microsoft and have a plan who does it. You are the customer. This is not something we do, but we would uh, like you to share the outage ticket number to us through the partner technical support portal. We can then follow up and escalate to Microsoft. You should be able to know how to use the partner center. In the partner center, you can manage your Microsoft account and users, access your customer tenant and manage your customer subscription. You should be familiar with a delegate admin role and that you can use this access to support your end customer. You do not need to consume a customer license to support your customer on his tenant. It is important to know which important administrative task you can do for your customer's tenant from the admin center. Internal administrators and delegate administrators can access the admin center. Partners can access the admin center for each tenant from the partner center. Customers and partners can access the admin center after signing into Business Central through the setting in the menu or by placing admin after the LS Central URI. You should automate as much as possible. If you have developed customized extensions, it's your responsibility to make sure that the extension doesn't break when Microsoft or LS Central release new updates. Therefore, we strongly advise you to create automated tests for every customization that you develop. You must update the environments each month in SaaS, so automation is your best friend here. If possible, try to select the first SaaS customer as a simple customer with as few customization and integration as possible. A customer you already know all the processes to guarantee that the move to SaaS is a straightforward one. This is not always possible. Sometimes the customer has already chosen you, but many of our partners have done this and been happy with this recommendation. Every product environment in SaaS comes with three sandboxes, which add up to 80 gigabytes of storage across the environments. There's some compression on the average 50%, so the 80 gigabytes are more than they look. In addition to the 80 gigabytes, you get gigabytes for each user, depending on if it's premium, essential, or device. You get three gigabytes for a premium user, two for the essential user, and one gigabyte for the device user. The capacity tab in the admin center shows you information on the available space for each tenant. Please note that, the, that exceeding the storage limit won't interrupt your customer business transactions. 
There are no automatic charges for Microsoft for the extra storage occupied by these environments. Restrictions are placed when creating or copying environments. Before you start with a project, decide upon a support concept with your customer. That is, who is going to do the update work, and if it's going to be you, what is the concept? Please note that the hybrid setup will take more time with the update work, since the update will be both on-premise and in SaaS. For new installations, we recommend that you prepare a template database. This database should include all the basic Business Central and LS Central setups needed uh, for running a head of a store and a pause. You will use this template when you're onboarding new customers. You must keep this database clean, up to date on the latest LS version, and do testing in a copy of the template. The template database is not a SaaS specific recommendation, but a, a general one when onboarding new customers. Okay, so let's get ready for your first implementation. Please note that when you've signed the CSP that you can request a development environment from our licensing team. You can use this environment to do your demos for your customers or test any testing. When onboarding with new customers, we recommend using the template database mentioned earlier. Copy the database on premise, enter all the customer relevant data and setup, and when it's ready to migrate to SaaS, use the cloud migration tool. This is not always feasible option for partners. You might need to use the configuration packages to import data into SaaS. Here, it's good to realize the limitations of the performance of the configuration packages in SaaS and that you might need to split bigger packages into parts before importing. For some time, there was only the option of copying production environment to sandbox in SaaS. Now you can copy a sandbox to production environment. In certain circumstances, this might be a good option to have. When moving an already on-premise customer to SaaS, Following is a general recommendation. If the customer is on anything older than LS Central 15 and has extensive customization, we do recommend a re-implementation. This is, however, always a case-by-case -case decision. You can get advice on how to migrate and update data and code from our migration specialist, Ricardo. Before migrating the data, we do recommend that you review the data before migration and clean up any data that doesn't need to be migrated, like logs and such. You get further advice from this in a migration session we offer within the Cloud Accelerator program from our migration specialist. Regarding onboarding with a customer that's already live on a business central SaaS environment, here you have the option on migrating the environment to LS Central on the embed cluster. The first step is to create a support ticket with Microsoft. Please include our licensing team in the communication. Here is a link to a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this and the mandatory information that must be collected before running migration between two tenants. Here is a link to training material in the implementation guide. Here you can see an overview of the most common processes within LS Central. This material you can then use to train your consultants or your end users. In LS Central SaaS, you can choose between two deployment options, the online pause or the hybrid pause. You can also combine the two. The first option should always be to go online with the pauses. But if your customer is in a region where the internet is unstable or the quality isn't good, or if you have a customer with a high volume of transaction, like in a supermarket, we would recommend the hybrid option. This is how the online pause works. You run the web client to connect to LS Central in SaaS. We recommend using the LS Central app shell to run the pauses. The only thing you're setting up on premise is the hardware station. We recommend that you set up the hardware station using the update service. 
This will enable you to keep the hardware station up to date automatically on each host. To achieve the option of running the offline ports with head office in SaaS, we came up with the concept of the hybrid component server. Here you can have the ports or the store running fully offline. Then you have online functionality with web service request, like sending transaction, member management, customer order, customer validation, and so forth. Let's go over the basics of the hybrid server. Please note that we advise you to not proceed with the setup of the hybrid server unless you have completed the LS Central base training. You know how data distribution and replication is set up and works in LS Central and that you have basic PowerShell knowledge which you need to operate the update service. The components of the hybrid uh, component server are as follows. First, we have the Postmaster which is the template database for rolling out new stores and pauses. The Postmaster also runs the scheduler. The hybrid component server acts as the communication layer between SaaS and the stores or the pauses. Then secondly, we have the data director, which pulls master data from head office in SaaS and keeps the offline pauses up to date with master data like items, prices, offers, customer, and such. And then thirdly, we have the update service, which includes tools and methods to help you install all the components needed to set up the pause and manages the offline environment and keeps it up to date with the newest releases and related components. The first step in the setup of the hybrid server is to set up all the data in head office in SAS. Before pre proceeding with installing the hybrid server, you must find or allocate a server to host the server on. This can be either locally at the retailers or an option that many of our partners have chosen is to host this on a virtual machine in Azure. Here you have an overview of the steps you take to install the hybrid component server. Each step is a link to the implementation guide where you can get more information on each step in the setup process. Let's quickly go over this. Step number two, you download from our partner portal some configuration packages. You import these configuration packages into head office in SaaS. These configuration packages include the distribution setup for your hybrid setup. These are the distribution uh, locations, the scheduler jobs and sub jobs you need to run an offline pause or a store. Step number three, you run the hybrid component server install on the server. This will install the data director and in step number four includes opening up the configuration tool for the data director and changing the configuration in a way that tells the data director that it can use web services to replicate. This is just a small check mark you need to adjust. Step number five is to configure and install the Postmaster with the update service project. Step number six, here you have the Postmaster installed. And you start with running a scheduler job which is included in the installation of the Postmaster. This scheduler job will pull down from head office in SaaS the distribution setup you did in step number two. When you have run this job, you have all the scheduler jobs on the Postmaster. You start by running a scheduler job called HCC init. This will, by using normal replication, pull all the master data setup from head office in SAS. Uh, subsequently, you will run an action job to pull down any changes from head office in SAS. In step number seven, when you are ready with the Postmaster, you will use the update service to create an installer for the offline pause. Here we are cloning the Postmaster and the update service is creating installer for the offline pause. This installer is a small executable file which you run on the offline pause or the offline pause server. 
In step number eight, when you have installed the offline pause, the only thing you need to do is to subscribe to pause web services. And then after posting of each transaction on the offline pause, the transactional data will be sent to head office using web services. You can also use web services to look up member management data, customer order data, inventory lookup, and such. We are also trying to simplify the setup of the hybrid server for you, where we automate the creation of the server in Azure. Here we are creating the hybrid as a virtual machine in Azure through scripting. The end goal is to skip the requirement of the hybrid component server on-premise and have this running as a service in SaaS. This is the future, but the script we have created is a stepping stone to this end goal. The benefits of the script is that it is easier to set up the hybrid component server and create a test environment. So from the hybrid server to upgrades of the environments in SaaS. LS Central has two major versions each year and monthly service updates, so in SaaS you're updating each month. LS Retail sends out an announcement when the worldwide version is released on the partner portal. To help you plan your updated work, we state the expected release date of the worldwide version on the country availability page on the partner portal and when the localized version can be expected to be released in SaaS. When a new LS Central version is available in SaaS, a notification is sent to all email addresses in the notification recipient list, which you can find in the Business Central Admin Center. When creating a new tenant, please make sure that everyone that needs to know when a new version is available is on this list. How does the upgrade timeline in SaaS look like? Day number one is when the new version of LS Central becomes available. The update is automatically scheduled two weeks after that. You can extend this date by one more week, making day 21 the last selectable schedule update date. What do you need to do when a new update is released? When a new version of LS Central on-premise is released, you can download the release and set it up to test your extension on the new release. When the version is available in SaaS, you create a sandbox and test your extension and schedule an upgrade on the sandbox. If this is successful, you can go ahead and schedule an update date for the production environment. The update for the production will be carried out on that date within the defined update window. The update window is usually six hours outside the customer business hours. You set this window in the business center or admin center when the tenant is created. Sometimes an environment can't get a new update. For example, a pair tenant extension might conflict with the changes in a new version of the base application. If the update fails, apply the changes needed to fix the problem to your solution as usual using Visual Studio Code and test again. Upload the new app version into your production environment in the extension management page, setting the deploy to field to next major version. This way, the compatible version of your app will be used when your environment is updated. When an update fails, email notifications that describe the detected issue is sent to all emails listed in the notification recipient list for the tenant. New update is automatically scheduled after seven days. You will receive few attempts to take action on the failed upgrade. We will after that have to take action. While LS Central is on the embed cluster, you need to add in the application family parameter LS Central to the launch JSON file. Otherwise, you will not be able to connect to LS Central and SaaS from Visual Studio Code. When deploying the pauses online to head office in SaaS, unless you are setting up the hardware station using localhost, you must set up the hardware station using HTTPS protocol. Please note that we would always recommend having the hardware station in HTTPS for increased security. You must acquire an authority signed certificate for the hardware station, and we do not recommend using the self-signed ones in production. 
The following might be obvious, but I would still like to mention that for the authority signed certificate, you must keep track of expiry of the certificate. So the cashier in the store will always be able to print receipts and accept card payments. We have a link here to the implementation guide where we have included recommendations from our consulting team on how you can use the same authority signed certificate for all your hardware station setups using DNS management. We recommend that you connect the application inside key to your customer environment. Here is a link to a session from last connection in May that covers how telemetry can help you solve problems in a live SaaS environment. The Business Central Admin Center, uh, the telemetry tab, provides telemetry of top-level AL events and any errors resulting from calls through the telemetry stack. For more detailed telemetry, you need to connect your tenant to application insight. You will there access a lot of insights from events that will help you troubleshoot issues on your customer tenant. Here are links to material that Microsoft has showing you how to connect your environment to application insight and showing you how to use the telemetry to troubleshoot. There is also a link to a GitHub page with information on Power BI performance reports and queries that you can use. Here is a reminder from our product director Matthias that it's still LS Central but on a new platform with new rules that everyone needs to get used to. So, how are we supporting you in your SaaS journey? This can be split into two phases from the perspective on how we transfer knowledge and provide support and training. The journey starts with you signing the CSP addendum and we will at this point invite you to join this onboarding session. After you have finished the session, if you haven't done it already, now is a good point to register for the SaaS training session with LS Academy. This SaaS training certificate is a prerequisite for joining our Cloud Accelerator program. The CAP membership is initiated when you purchase your first customer license in SaaS. We will at this point contact you to invite you to join an evaluation meeting for your project. Before the evaluation meeting, we will send you a template to fill out with details on your customer profile. In the evaluation meeting, you will meet with the CAP team, which includes a project manager from consulting, an onboarding body, the migration specialist and a consultant. In this meeting, we will review the template and together decide upon the best way we can support you through the project. We offer three paths you can take through CAP. Which one you will take depends on the complexity of your project and how well you are prepared for it. The paths are onboarding with body support, guided onboarding and onboarding with consulting. If further support is required after the onboarding session, we are still there to assist you in your journey. To make it smooth for you, a link for a 30-minute session is available that you can use to book a session with our onboarding team for LS Central SaaS topics. When booking this 30-minute session, please specify your topic. The more details, the better. We can arrange the right support for you within the session to make it a success. Use the Buddy Service Desk, use the link, or through the Cloud Accelerator program. We are here to support you in your SaaS journey.